Hello everybody, and uh, this is what my I just got recently, a baby Pac-Man. Something I've always wanted since, I would say, 1982. I only got to play it once in the arcade back then, and I was hooked right away. What's un unique about this game is it is a pinball machine, as you can see down below here, and it's a video game of Pac-Man, baby Pac-Man more in particular. Um, you start out the game in a playfield maze up here in the top, and then you can escape down below into the pinball maze, down at the pinball machine here, to gain power-ups like energizers, and um, so you can go back and eat the ghosts. Um, once you fall down into the center here, um, you get sent back up to the maze, and you have to complete the maze in order to continue, otherwise you die. Um, I went all the way to Plasburg for this one. Uh, it was a really great price, and as you can see, this this cabinet is in just fabulous condition. Um, you know, there's a tiny little mark right there. Um, on the other side, we've got the artwork there is uh, ripped off, and we have an imperfection right there. But overall, this cabinet's really, really great shape. Um, we got a little bit of damage right here, very similar to what's happened to my Galaga. Um, but I don't think it's it's not even anything I would ever replace this over. And T molding there's got a little bit of damage there. But overall this is a really great cabinet. The uh previous owners had installed a switch here which is really ugly. Um what I'll probably do is just put some kind of grommet around it just to hide well not a grommet but a, a washer or something just to hide the fact that it is it kind of removed the surface there. Um but since it doesn't I don't think it has a free play mode. Um I'll leave the switch there because it doesn't start to have have an extra switch and it's missing the one player start button so I have to find one of those. I'm going to grab the keys for it. And uh, a few, a couple other things. Uh, here's my Radical Bikers that I just got. Uh, I'll just show it to you real quickly. This is to be a donator for my uh, Capcom vs. SNK but it's a real fun game and I mean right now I got the, the handlebars apart because I'm fixing them. So, I think I want to keep this game together. It's just such a, it's in great shape. It just needs a few little things here and there. Um, but enough of this game. And here's the, the Capcom vs. SNK apart right now being repaired. But so what I'll do is I'll uh, open the back of this. And what you can see, here's the interesting thing is, this uses a standard, um, uh, Bally pinball boards right here. They're called the, uh, I think it's called the MPU. And um, then it uses this additional board called the Thidiot board. And this does the uh, graphics for the for the video game itself portion of it. And then you've got your power supply down below. I'm going to pull out the interlock here. And I'm going to turn it on. And things you'll notice is there's lights here that blink. And I, I'm not counting the number of blinks it's doing, but it's trying to start up. And there's there's some issues. I think this is going to need some repair work to it. If you come over here and you look at the screen, you see that you're not getting any video. To your, the screen is on, but you're not really getting any video. The play field is lighting up. Um, but it's not, it won't coin up if you want it to. You can hit the coin up button. Nothing's going to happen. So, but... Something happened there, though. I think I got something going on. But let's uh, go over here. We got some interesting switches on the board. First, we got a sound test button here. And you can hear the sounds going off. So the sound unit, sound is working on it. This is the video test right here. If I hold this down for a couple seconds, and I come back around. Oh, I think I got to do it again. back around. There we go. And you can see the monitor. It's got some issues here. We, the colors aren't right, but at least it's coming on. Um, it's a little 13-inch monitor. And uh, I'm going to have to figure out what exactly the problems are. What we're probably going to do is hook it up to a good video source. 
and see how the monitor behaves. And then I'll be able to eliminate some of the problems here. But it definitely, this monitor is going to need some work. Probably a cap kit. A little afraid to do it because the last time I did a cap kit, I broke the monitor. Um, <laughs> uh, it shouldn't have, I, I shouldn't have broken it. I don't know what I did, but it just doesn't work anymore. But, uh, so, well, we'll see how that goes anyway. <laughs> But, yeah, so here it is. Um, this is just the current state that it's in. I haven't done any work to it other than just to look at it, you know, press the test button. Marquee lights up. You know, it's in really good shape. Um, the, uh, the battery here is not leaked at all. I'll be removing that at some point. Um, but overall, this really is it's a great find. Um, really pleased with it. I just got to do some work to get it working up, get it working again. So I'm really excited about it. Oh, and additionally... There's one thing. We've got the rubber on the flip on the flippers and the stuff are all dry rod and you can see the one actually broke off and fell off. So it's up there. It's not expensive to replace them. Just get a get replacements for it. So there we go. That's it. It's my uh, new baby Pac-Man and I'm all excited about it and you'll see some more videos as I work my way through uh, repairing it.